What we are working on is an AI accelerator. What we've done is essentially made an accelerator using RISC-V cores, meant to run in uh, data centers as an accelerator for AI, uh, very efficient inference. Our first chip is actually in volume production today. What I've found on past projects is that we tend to be a little bit hesitant to do static checks. They run kind of slow, they take a long time, uh, they create a lot of noise, right? So what happens is this tendency that, you know, especially for large designs, we run it infrequently, we put it off, we do it a little bit later. Um, then that leads to long reviews where uh, there are lots of violations, there are lots of waivers to be written. We were actually able to uh, uh, you know, solve this problem, uh, I think, pretty effectively using uh, the latest tools. So essentially, if you have a, you know, static checking tools which are relatively no low noise and fast runtime, then uh, what we can do is actually enable uh, lint checking and CDC and other things, uh, essentially on, on all check-ins. Uh, that leads to incremental reviews, right? Rather than giant piles of violations, the feedback is direct to the, the designer who just wrote the code, right? So everything is fresh in his mind, he gets immediate feedback, he's able to fix it. And now we're in a situation where we can actually end up with no waivers, no errors, because very often it's actually easier to fix the problem than to go analyze it and put a waiver. Sent lint. Uh, was actually very helpful. It found a lot of the things that, that you would expect to find. Um, signal width mismatches, uh, you know, enumeration types driven to zero. So many of these things your synthesis tool will find, right? It'll give you an error and crash. Uh, and then, you know, the physical design guy comes to you and says, hey, fix this. Right? So this is actually extremely useful. And, uh, you know, obviously handling them up front is the best thing. Um, and we were able to do this because Sentinel runs in about five minutes versus another tool that we used that took uh, more like an hour. CDC tool, we did find some uh, missing synchronizers. And, you know, really, I, I think the best part of it was that it, it, there's a hierarchical flow. We didn't have to go and create black boxes, uh, which can, you know, create other errors and create other things that need to be reviewed. RDC, uh, we actually ran very late. Um, but we did find some issues. We were finding some things that looked like fundamental problems. And we actually went back and changed our uh, reset distribution. And we were first time correct uh, because we used static checks. We used a lot of simulation and uh, all the advanced simulation techniques.